Hello everyone! We're back with more Final Fantasy 16 and we've arrived at uh, Hideaway 2.0 uh, for the very first time. Um, so we're we're doing a little a little uh, little run around today. Just me, no chat, because uh, um, because I'm away this week, so I wanted to pre-record something. But look at how pretty it is. This is definitely an upgrade from Hideaway 1.0. I mean, sure, it's a shame that there had to be terrible tragedy in order for us to to make the leap. But my goodness, look at it. It's just so pretty. You wouldn't even know there's a blight going on, eh? Hi, Jill. Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. I expect he'll be in the mess. Okay, you coming or just hanging out, looking at the sea? Fair enough. All right. Ding ding. All right. Let's see what's going on up here. After yeah, the hideaway was um, absolutely destroyed. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, it was absolutely destroyed by Titan. Um, luckily, all of our favorite hideaway uh, individuals were, um, were wearing a nice a nice set of plot armor, so they're all totally fine. Um, but yeah, we've got lots of new recruits. I mean, five years has has passed, so... I'll let the others know. So, uh, so we're grand, you, you know. Finished you yet? finished sorting those finished. reports. I ain't started. All right. Oh, hello, Nectar. Oh, all in good time. All in good time. All right. Well, let's talk to Otto then. Oh. Yeah. So everyone that we, you know, every you named NPC basically is fine, this morning. which is Pizza good. But there's lots of new ones too, because it's been five years that have passed. I doubt Kupka will miss the force he sent to catch me. And not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. Well... No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republic. Lovely Gav. Life. Should be back any day now. Up there are. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Into the map room and whoever this is. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Well, yeah, this is where she's chosen to be. Maybe she's sympathetic to the I'm cause, sure you she know. Has her reasons. Yeah. Alrighty. Do do. Hello. Ahoy, hoy. Vivian. I trust I'm not intruding. <laughs> Bombastic side out there. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. It's a nice coat. One might say the same of you. Vivian Nightingales. <gasps> you full named you. I know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. Vivian Fortales? So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? Why is lessons hyphenated? Is that so hard to believe? Very well then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? I'll, I will take your word for it. the question is, how did we get here? I indeed. Hi, indeed. Oh, we're getting a lesson, literally. Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. Oh dear. For That's a lot reason, of land. She has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. And the blight is a but definitely Odin a problem. Would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. Hmm. It was five years ago, years while ago. you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor. 
a nation which wow. could legitimately claim that was to quick. be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the twins. The non-aggression treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, Ticks. it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. Well, they're biding their time if it's been five Holy years. Empire, the Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And, of course, our friends in Yaran. Yaran? Who will be oh, left standing, Kingdom. I wonder, when the last stop of Because Rosaria ain't a thing in, uh, anymore. You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet, in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Okay. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Right. <laughs> Return Sassy. his volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was um, adequate. You tell him. You tell him. It's only I like a... I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. It's a few bloody steps that way. Also, if you have a resident res historian... I'm sorry, I'm just a bit confused. Why is why is Thawne here giving us, giving us all this and also requiring payment for it? We have a historian. Why... Honestly, I'm just salty because I want to hear Tomes talk some more. That's... That's the main thing, really. All right, Vivian. I'm sorry, but if I'm gonna pick favorites, it's not it's not close for you at all. Let's go see lovely tomes. Who I would argue has the nicest room in the place. Look at this, huge, so much space. Mithril is a material of both passing hardness and luster, and it is these two qualities for which it is valued by the weapon and armorsmiths of the wet realm. However, there's a third quality of Mithril that sets it apart from steel or shell. It's durance. Okay, Mithril is, once made, eternally unchanging. Ooh. That's nice. Wayne's, you okay? Hello, oh, Ted. Holmes said the hideaway is built inside an airship. Cool. Said it was called the Invincible. Cute. Sure is. What's that there? It's gonna be like a gear or something. Anyway. Hello. Bookman. Bookman. Booksman. Norseman Harpocrates. <sighs> now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. What do you mean? We've so lived here for five years, I Harpocrates. It was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed. Are you okay? Always. I believe this belongs to you. What have people been calling you around here in the half hour I was gone? It. A heavy leather bound tome containing the findings of one Anam Anaman Anaximander of Canver, a renowned theologian who spent most of his life chronicling Valisthea's diverse religious history. Alrighty. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books. Faster than young Tet does lemon ha! tarts. You hear that, Tet? Would that I could do the same. You and your lemon tarts. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. What do you mean? That you... said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's head. He's all about uh, without access contradictions to the here great today. libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. Ah, but didn't you hear him, I fear Clive? It's not more books that I require, but the right He's going to knock out the constitution for, have, for words. We look in the wrong places. Despite being a There Lordsman. are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims Hi, of kitty. a tired old historian. Yeah. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. <gasps> Ted's, oh, Ted's throwing a lob and them balls back. The Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogle. Set and match there, Harpocrates. Ah, <laughs> 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 dickhead. The twins seem well. 
Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. Yes. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. Oh. Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. Oh, dear. And the wounds that remain. They would have been very small at the they time. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. And all the lemon that tarts too. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. B. Wonder what's in that pouch around her pocket's neck. I should get some rest while I can. Man, we gotta be well rested for Gav getting How back. Good it is to see you, Clive. Thanks. So, uh, about the past five years, it you do remember, right? Certainly. Titan visited his wrath upon us on that dreadful night. We lost much. He robbed us not only of our homes and our loved ones, but of that which Sid fought fiercest to preserve. Our Hope that we might never have found again had you not taken his name and become our light in the darkness. Had you not led us here. To Benimer and the Invincible where, among the ghosts of the fallen, our journey can continue. Here in the belly of a leviathan, untouched by the passing of a thousand years, does our hope burn brighter than ever. And here may it burn for a thousand more. Ah. Look around you. Look. Look around you. While it is a far cry from the Imperial Library in Oriflam, in five short years we have amassed more volumes than most men or women might hope to see in their lifetime. No longer are the tales they contain hidden away from all but the privileged. We have liberated them, that they may fill the minds of all who hunger for knowledge. Still. There's much more out there. Why? <laughs> the floor? <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's not important enough to go on the shelves. I still remember. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 keeping it together. Mm, that's that's nice. That's not sad at all. Get back in there, cheer. Thank, thank goodness they did. Get back in there. It may be fine again, it's true. All right. Oh wait, if we didn't actually do the, wait, 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 wait. Wait, come here. Is there something I might assist you with? Doodly doo. If As if that's all we get for, for me, five years worth of. I should of be happy to answer it. Victor, said the outlaw. Leader of the, <laughs> the hood. Uh, leader of the faction believed responsible for the shattering of Drake's head. With this single act of infamy, Sid's name quickly spread to the four corners of Valisthea and beyond. Hmm. Titan's destruction of the old highway. Here is a community of like-minded individuals from across the realm has gathered to build a place where people can live and die on their own terms. Built within fallen ruins deep within the deadlands of Central Storm. Decidedly unlike its predecessor, however, it is located in the center of a lake, Benimer, across whose waters any invading enemy can easily be spotted long before their arrival. Yes, but that doesn't mean it's still pretty dangerous. Got loads of stuff here. Bestiary. Okay. All right. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Thank you. What's this here? Ye treasure ye, ye, ye beasties. Ye seas which gird about ye lendy of Alistia on all sides doth churn most frothily and diverse with deadly creatures. Among these are beasts more prodigious in size than entire islandies, yet customarily and as placid as ye very doldrums. Yet lo, when they do awaken, towering waves are driven forth, like in proportion to great mountains. Ye peoples of ye outer seas in which these creatures dwell doth live in great terror of ye writhing isles, as certain chroniclers make record of their being known. <sighs> I could totally do this. I could totally do this. I could just... I could narrate stuff. No bother at all. Okay. Oh, hello. Not back a blink, and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It's just what I do. It looks good, Clive. 
goes well with the scam. Hey! I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. <laughs> ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right. All right. I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Never! You have to wonder, though, right? Like, good, you know, you've, you've gotten rid of the brand. Great, well done. But, like... you have a thought worthy of a letter? But what... Surely people are going to go, Oh, I wonder what... I wonder what happened that he got that exact bearer brand sized scar on his face and neck exactly where a bearer brand mark would go. Weird. I wonder. I guess we'll never know. It's so strange, yeah. Look, it's 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 not quite as distinguishable, but almost. Tomorrow night yard chocobo. Someone's totally gonna make this. Mm. Seasonal savory herbs. Particularly the heart and liver. Should be set aside for later use. Break the brass bone and ready your force meat. Thusly, chop together the heart and liver of the chocobo and mix it with the cr Imagine how, how many does this serve? Probably quite a lot, I would think. Sadly not. Molly used do, the do, last do, do. Do, do, do. Does that one have Karen, thank or? god you were wearing plot armor. Gal, honestly, Is this place would this? fall apart without G. Our pleasure. We won't hear me complaining. Mm. Got my own stores, my own little counter. And thanks to you lot, fighting the good fight, plenty of demand for me wares. The only drawback. A constant bloody racket. If it's not Doris and Otto barking their orders, it's Blackthorn and Bardolph banging away d What? Oh. <laughs> Listen, we haven't got thirsty yet. It was only a matter of time. I was like, oh my. All day and night. Still. Stamina. A pain in the ear, all's worth the price. I'd have to, I'd price I have to pay to be Sid the Outlaw's partner in crime. So I've got myself a bargain. I remember it like it was yesterday. We're all waiting to treat Sid to a hero's welcome, then Kuka's lot turned up. Not that we knew it was them. It's poured in like a plague of rats, cutting down anyone and anything that stood in their way. Oh dear. You're our leader now, Clive. Promise me you won't let anything like that happen again. Promise me that come what may, Sid will save us. I, killed, eh? I promise I will never and die. What can I do for you? Um, what can I do for you? Uh... We got any valuables? Some. And then let's get ourselves some. Ooh, elixir. Hey. Okay. Is that mm. all? Is that all? Might be. Goods. Um, blackthorn. Let's make ourselves an e sword. Life. Blackthorn. <sighs> Thinks you ain't too bad. Decent Emma. Decent anvil. Apprentice and. <laughs> It's a good start. And the furnace is alright and all, thanks to old Sid's bellows. Nah. Nah. Thanks for keeping me on. If you need anything, you can give us a share. Do one. What? what? You've forgotten already, because I haven't. Because I haven't. It's a right pain in the ass getting this place into shape. Especially with the mess we were in. Still. Still. Alright, what have you got? What, what do you got want? for me? Flame tongue. Oh, don't mind if I do. Thank God, look, finally using some meteorite. Absolutely. It last you a good while. Mm, we'll see. Um, gold works. That look at how look at how much stuff I have, and I promise you, it will never get used. Um. Oh, God, so some. Oh, hello, eleven bolt. Oh, we're skipping straight to. Did I forget to make flame tongue? I must have done. Four yeah. scratches, all right? All right. Wait, is it not? And how am I meant to do that then? I don't know. Figure it out. Um, can we re? Oh, it was reinforcing. That's what I was doing. Okay, fine. 
Um. Well. No. Anything else? Oh, <gasps> so fancy! Look at it. It's so impractical. Like, look at look at how many bits there are, there are to like jab you backwards in the hand with. A hilt should not be that that spiky. It goes against the whole everything what a hilt is supposed to do. Give you a good grip. I mean, yeah, sure, you can boff someone with the back end of it, but it's not really... Oh, chill. What are you doing in here? In my chambers? Hmm. The wall of memory. I mean, memories. What have we got? Anything? The oath. Oh. Gav lost an eye to bring that back for some reason. So, we gotta keep it. Oh, I love that it has its own music. It's very sweet. All right? Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. Mm hmm. Hey, look at this ocean view. I mean, lake view. Pretty romantic. Is there glass in this? No. Okay. That might be. That might be an issue. That might be. ungood. Hello. Hi. Oh. 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 That's not an owl, that's a pigeon. Come on now. <laughs> no, you're birds. Goblin coin. Love that there. Little balcony and everything. It's good to be the king of the outlaws. Alright. Let's be doing letter. It's been playing D&D. &D. That's nice. The reading table. The Republic's play. Men of the Rock. I'll see you're done to wear upon my return. What? Done to wear? Sure. What does Gav have to say? The Republican <laughs> army is on the march. Tiny little He's letter. He's like, Hugo mm. Kuka's chart. Why did they write it on a stamp? With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. Let me. Oh, I thought he was about to monologue. <laughs> it's like, <gasps> get ready. We've come. Oh no! All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway. Are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five. Let's long get years. fucked up. Jill's like, all right. Command, it's wine time. I've been granted. We might have achieved so much more, but each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. You do it just Your fine. He knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. Mm -hmm. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. <laughs> but you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. I love that they've been having and these for conversations me, for five years that's nonstop. No burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. Cheer up, guys. It's all good. It's fine. You'll, you'll go, you'll, you'll destroy it a crystal. You'll get drunk, we'll have fun. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out. To Ultima. I love that the feathers look like that. Like it's not down technically, I suppose. I don't think because down would just be the fluffy, fluffy bits. But if Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that. That. Why thing. didn't Joshua just stop to say hi? Why did he be like my brother? Do you think he will ever but I can't back? actually speak to him. I know he will. 
And we must be ready when he does. Stop. Th that desk is way too big. Like, they were like, Ugh. Let's get fucked up. To a world without mother crystals. Teeny tiny glasses. Kiss on it? Oh. Let's not rem we we're all very sad about Thunder Daddy, but you can't just you can't just bring up dead people every time. It brings the mood down. Alright. Mother crystals. Oh. Ooh, someone finally got rid of his wee hooded robe. Looking fancy. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. Oh dear. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother. Are our efforts in vain? You could have asked him yourself, but you just had to be all deep and mysterious. Run away without chanting to him. It could not be me in these in these worlds, in these apocalyptic scenarios. I would be making really inappropriate comments the entire time just to deflect on the seriousness of it all. Oh. Uh, my apologies. I oh. didn't mean to intrude. That's hardly That's intruding. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Sure you are. It's now I've got my doubts. It's Martha from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. Didn't even get to have our wine. God damn it. It's always something. The gathering storm. What would make Martha leave the rest? Okay. So I don't think we have any more quests, no. So we'll just... Yeah, okay, we'll continue on. Out the door. See what's going on with Martha then. I love how nobody else gets rooms. There's no other doors at all, it's just... Where does everyone else sleep? Just on sleeping bags out here. Like, there, I don't think there are any other sleeping quarters unless they're down underneath or something. Hmm. Alright. Let's go see what Martha's up to then. Oh, hello. Well, no, they're not sleeping down there. Otto? What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial Yikes. garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Mm -mm. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening <laughs> its grip Ran the duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, uh -oh. conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. Uh -oh. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the old Martha would love to hear you describe her as old Martha. In order to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. Couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. Okay. They should Let's help go. speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and Probably. All. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Right. Right, right, right. Ooh, quest. Down. At the bottom? Is that the only it's the only one? Oh, hello. Nice. Okay. Let's go pick up that quest on our way out. 
and then we're off. You. Ding. Thanks, I'm away again. I'm off out. Obelis. Damn blighty bilge. Is What's the problem? Everything all right. Aside from the holes in my hull. All right. Everything's rosy. Just asking. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. That slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Ted does our lemon. But what's tarts. with the Ted head? He's just a kid that likes lamb and tarts. Leave him alone. The rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Adjust the attitude. I don't like it. Here we go. Of I'll go get you some pitch or whatever. The Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, well I'm glad someone round here sees it. Well, that way. well, well. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are. Do you know what? Now. Why don't you go and get them yourself? Well, there, so if you're if you're so you touched by this. Forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Well, well, well. Why don't you find another job then? Deep. If it's such a so such happens, a to do for you. I once heard the thorny pictures of Curl Tail Falls cover themselves. Right, Sounds I don't fell. need the lesson. Tell me what you need. I'm a busy man. Tell me what you need. I'll go get it. Anything to not listen to you go on and on, on and on and on and on and on about it. Right. Let's go here first then. Ah, it's not that far. Jeez, what's he on about? Jeez. Right. Here we go. Ooh, it's all misty. I like that there's a weather. A weather change system. Alright. Now what are we looking for specifically? Something, I don't know. We'll know it when we see it, eh? Uh, it was something, he was going wah wah wah, pitch wah wah wah, trees wah wah wah, curl tails, I don't know. There, Easy that there, plant, the that'll forest, do. A thorny thistle. Ooh, that's fun. That's fun. Okay. Come on then. This is very, very effective, indeed. Oh, that was a waste. Uh, there we go. Play thorny thistles. Come here, I'm not done with you. Da -da 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 -da. Everyone's dead. Farewell. Done. Easy. This is fun. I like the I like the new Ifrit uh, powers. I will have those. Pitcher wax. I can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this. I don't know. I'm sure he'll find something to complain about, like. There we go. Let's just get this back to him as quickly as possible. And then move on with our quest. Oh, dang it. I mean, most of the time I like that it doesn't put us down there, but uh, this is the one time you're like, ah. go all the way down. Okay. Where are you? Finish with that open box, Ed. Thanks. Here you go. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. <laughs> Put in the work, Obelus. Ugh. Reeks like a chock of those arse. You're welcome. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long Argo. So your boat has a name. Also a he. I didn't know. Yeah. 
Same as my old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another oh, day. Oh, is that a little thank you? Is that a little thank you just snuck in there at the end? That's good. That's goody. That's biggie. Badge of Night Might plus one. Yeah, it's alright, I guess. Um, should we try and equip it? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's see. What have we got? Cleric's Medallion. Will of Fire, Will of... Well, we don't even have Rising Flames equipped anymore, so we'll definitely be taking that. I don't really think these... These little, uh, things are all that worth it. Unless you're, like, super, super attached to a specific power and want, uh, want to use it all the time. But hey, there we go. Alrighty. Um, so now... I'm gonna go find the curse breakers all the way over here. Um, to Marfa's rest. There we go. Lovely. Ooh, what dear. happened here? There's always Come something on. going on here. We need to find the others. Hello. I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late. Oh, jeez. There we are for now, I reckon. All right, let's, let's go. Get you to a physical, shall we? Uh oh. Sid, what said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help, and it appears he was right. You were, uh, could say that. Yes, they're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but. All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. No one touches our Martha. Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's virus. Uh oh. The bastards. Bastards. Sid and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But um, before you go, oh, God. one, one of the more thing. Heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. There's nothing. Come on, let's just walk. That's just that's just a Tuesday, isn't it? Let's have a look. Can we get there any quicker? No. We're good. We gotta actually hoof it from here. Okay, fine. Cole is right. Uh, so we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go to the left. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. Onward. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Your ma. Look sharp. Make for Glade Mond Abbey. Puppy, we haven't given you pats in a while, have we? Come here. Come here. Come here. Near Get it, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Baby. All right. March. March. Hide from the wasps. There we go. Always got to wait for that little speed boost to kick in. I don't think we can go Look. straight, so... Oh, Up oh. Ahead. Martha! What happened, bud? Martha. Are you hurt? No, Clive. She's holding her shoulder because she's grand. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. Guys, what happened? time. Time the is an issue. Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were going to hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Aww. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then they may still be alive. Mm. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Go, 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 go. Come on, Jill. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on, don't watch her walk away. People are literally dying. Let's go. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? The 
has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Mm, seems a step too far, even for the Empire. I don't know. The Empire seems it seems like they're pretty cozy doing doing whatever. Sorry, guys. No, no time for that. No time for that. Did I kill them? Did they just, did they just straight up die? Come on. Well, that was easy. Am I might just gonna run around with fireballs? Ooh, that's a bit distracting. All right, just turn up at the abbey. Who wants some? Oh, these? Don't mind. Sorry. Are we too Flashing late? light warning. There might still be someone inside. I do like that effect. Oh, there we go. They, they might be inside, but whether they're alive or dead is another oh dear question. No. Oh dear. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. Okay. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Let's kill them. Ah, that bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. <gasps> Do not silly me. Colluding husband. with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. Oh no, there's four of you now, five. Shall they be punished? Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these are swords, we swear. Ooh. How dare you speak those words! Oh, is that the shield? Have you no honor? That must Come be on. the shield. What? This won't take long. Yeah, seriously. Come on. I mean, sure, it's a terrible death, but you have to be having fun just right up until the moment that you die. Okay, who's next? You, you look like, you look like you want some next. It's over. Dead. Do, 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 do. Let's find out for once and for all what Valley Matter actually is. Oh, it's a shrub. Inconspicuous shrub commonly found growing near mother crystals. Its roots are harvested to create a deep red red dye. Interesting. But unlike most pigments, matter root extract does more than meanly, merely stain cloth. It imbues it with a faint elemental charge that can ethereally enhance both bearer and crystal-based magics. Huh. Fun. So it's not cheese. Is that all of them? It could be cheese. Valley matter, extra mature. I just I think, think so. that makes sense. All right. Sixty bloody hides. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Mm. I love. I love that optimism, Jill. Keep it up. Big fan. I wonder where he could, could be. Could it be in this? Oh dear. Fonda. The abbot. No. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. Yeah, but he's kind of done for anyway. We're friends of Martha, we're here to help. Martha, are the Imperials dead? 
Some of them. They are. Every last one. That's not true. <laughs> if only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The sequel. The Already got greenlit. Will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sin's aid. It's already done. And tell her this wasn't her fault. I, mm. I shall. Oh dear. Sin. Kitty. Sin. In here! We found a survivor! Is it Gav? Clive. Yep. Yeah. What are you doing? He's gone. Come here. <laughs> Sorry, cat looking for I'm not I'm not getting up and following you. That's not gonna happen. I'm busy. Oh, it's coal. Is it cold? Yes. We've laid the abbot to rest. But yes, I'm not following you. They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. Come here. They Come and say hi. There we go. Them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials, assuming mm. the abbot could escape. They saved her life. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. How did you There's do that? They're far from very heavy. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself okay. and performed Don't. the casting. Don't step I'll get on someone anything. To... I'll do it. Of course. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Bye. <laughs> But like, aren't the aren't they all petrified? Like, wouldn't they wouldn't they just be a bunch of statues that you have to hoist somewhere? Perform the casting and return to Martha's rest. Okay, okay, let's go. Down this way. Sorrow wise, I mean, you should have really you should have really known what was gonna happen setting up shop somewhere called Sorrow Wise. Have you ever heard of foreshadowing, guys? Come on. Written on the written on the wind. Oh god! Why can't you get your ankles wet, Clive? Come on! All right, gotta, gotta just sprint around the outside here. Bear with me. Bear with me, guys. Kitty's now sulking just off camera. He's just lying across the doorway, like a Victorian lady having a, a fainting fit. <sighs> Hello. Oh, it's one of the um, marks. Okay. I suppose we're we have to come into contact with you as a yeah, as an intro to the notorious marks, creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. Um, fight flight is always an option. Defeating these can earn him not only renown but also rare materials. That's true. Some of the uh, well, all of the uh, best weapons in the game. I think. <laughs> All the best weapons in the game uh, are made via materials that you that you uh, get from doing these. <gasps> you little shit. Okay, no, let's not be let's not be fucking around here. Alright. There you are. Ah. 
Did that work? Mm, nothing but. There we go. Absolutely roasted. Very easily dodged, my guy. Dodge him! Dodge him real good! I will not be got by an attack called Quagga, thank you very much. Take that as a personal insult. Mm. Call yourself a notorious mark? I, I don't think so. Go done. No problem. You didn't see that coming. A little bit of dry, the driest humor there from uh, from Clive. Okay. That must be the bridge. Oh, I don't see any other bridges around here. I think we, you might be right. Okay. Uh. Oh, we gotta get it. We gotta let it down. What's this now? Oh, we gotta scatter the remains. Where where were we carrying these remains on our person? There were a lot of dead people. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. That's not how lakes work. Is this a lake? Because if so, I don't think it's getting bored out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. Fair. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. She's crying. What? She's at herself. Uh, I don't know if it's a lake. Is it a lake? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's. Maybe it's gonna. Mm -hmm. Never mind. You know what? Geography. It's a funny thing. It means different things to different people. Apparently. All right. Let's go to Martha's rest. See how she's getting on. There we are. 
Everyone's still, he's still sitting on the floor it's there. Nobody's bothered to move him. Getting a, getting a bruised little coccyx on top of all of his other injuries. You alright, buddy? No one survived then. Nope. You I'm did. Sorry. That's something. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. I mean, she'll definitely blame herself. Does it mean I won't? <laughs> Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Well... Cold said you cast their remains. That was good of you. That sounds sarcastic. It should have been me. Were you passive? This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I I'm taking the blame. No, the I'm taking like the blame. I, I want to take the blame. The rumors started moons ago. Of black clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Mm. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing. It's unthinkable. Hmm. It's pretty dark. Which begs the question. Why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them. Preferably big ones. Swords or men? If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people... They're in for a rude awakening. Mm-hmm. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Gav! Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. She's grand. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young Have all the NPCs breakers. you want, Martha. We've got tons to spare. Fifty experience. Black blood. A thick oily substance sometimes found pooling in newly formed wounds in the earth, such as the cracks left by tremors or the passing of an icon. Though it burns as hot and bright as any crystal, the liquid was, has until recently been largely ignored by the people of Valisthea due to the acrid smoke it emits when ignited. There you go, so it's actually not make for making black pudding. Hmm. Gosh, the item descriptions in this game are very, very detailed. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. We're definitely going to be checking this out. Let's do this. Down, 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 down. Turn up to move. Hello. Oi, you there. Don't just Recognize this guy? Uh, you handy with that sword of yours? Depends who's asking. Of course you are. <laughs> Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Me? Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? Chuckaboos. You heard me right. <sighs> Wild birds? Hmm? You'll the get nowhere with ones? that attitude, Rowan. And not just any chocobos at that. Noble ones, My we heard God you. And her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. <laughs> He's getting they tears. Just emotional just thinking about it. From bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting Bad. bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now they're back. Looking to settle the score. And rather than rush to their aid, Go you're standing on, around here just waiting just for someone with a sword to happen to walk past. <sighs> Obviously I'm going to do it because I'm great, but Alright. There's a good lad. <sighs> Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dark. It's a dead end, And you is. did nothing. You say White Heart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And yet? And don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. <laughs> and good luck to you. Clive's over it. I give those no good bastards a hiding from me. Uh, no. No, we won't be doing that. You, you have no part in this. All right. Bye then. Head down this way. 
Find the haunted chocobo. White heart. That's quite a name for a chocobo. Mm. Maybe I should call you that kitty. Um. Although. Well, I was gonna say, would that not mean? Would that not kind of be, like white heart would be kind of like cowardly, but. What's that? A white feather. <gasps> a white feather. I said it first. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. The hembo jumped out. Looks like they went that way. He has his hembo moments, for sure. I know we were saying last time, like, oh, he doesn't have all three. A white chocobo opinion. Like, he do he's, he's kind, yes. He's beefy, yes. But but is he is he dumb enough to, to take on the mantle of Hembo? Sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. Oh, good for them. Babies. Gonna fuck you up. We got you cornered, feathers. Gonna fuck you up. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business, but I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on you their You guys get nothing better to do, no? Not around here, they won't. Yeah. Oh. And why's that, eh? Fuck you because up. she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Yeah. This, uh, or better still. How about we hurt you both? You can certainly try. Right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Alrighty. Well, I really hope these guys would be more of a challenge, but I guess you can't have it all. Oh, okay, fine. That's nice. Yay. Come over here. Come. Rather than get over here, come over here, please. Oh, hello. Thank God. There's a big, big ladder here. Whoop. Had a had a rough time of it. Sounds like. Oh, I missed. I'm far aside. And look at that. Our limit break is almost entirely full already. Oh, hey, 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 no, no. Gilbug. I love that it, it like 
or maybe it's not the same description, but there is one where it literally tells you where where the name Gil for money comes from. It's like, ooh, we're going deep lore, deep Final Fantasy lore. <gasps> Baby, you're safe now. Come on, Clive. Come on, buddy. Heart, I presume. Come on, Clive. How do you not? Oh. Oh. Do you know her, boy? Clive. She literally fucking saved your life. That scar. It couldn't be. Oh. She deserved better than a still frame flashback. I'm just saying. She. This is a. This is much more of a. It. It deserved. Ambrosia. Montage, you know. Oh. Yeah, it's Ambrosia. It is you. You survived. Give her a cuddle. Yeah. No, oh, she saved your life. How did she not get obliterated though when Rodney did? Find yourself a flock. Yeah. Yeah. That's my friends. Boy, he, he is it over. Don't interrupt, Rowan. We're having a moment. I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you sort of the bastards Sorry. then? I knew you would. Mm-hmm. And the whole flock. Made it through unscathed. All three of them. Hopefully they did. And not only that. Oh. She's my friend. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Hmm. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior. The attitude are. change now that we don't have a brand is is quite something. Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Or something. Well, I. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. Unless you're a bear. <coughs> yeah. What is it, girl? You coming with me? She wants her master <laughs> back, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. <coughs> Ooh. Told you. And it seems her oh. pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? She's so cute. Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming uh. sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Nobody move. Huh. Huh. He. Who. The least you could do. Just say it. Ah. <gasps> even got a little space for our sword. Oh, <laughs> the eye patch. <laughs> the eye patch is too much. It's too adorable. Look at her. Oh, Ambrosia. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure? She eh? sure does. She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Bray. Ah, a few scraps of leather is the very least I owe old White Heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. After losing an eye, I think so. Worry. And we didn't we'll even really recognize her. Without her. You hear that, White Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. She's a bird. She's not deaf. With your master now. You hear that, mm. White Heart? You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. Uh... That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No, 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 definitely not. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bear. He had a bear's mark right about double. exactly where you have oh, that scar. <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me, silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. I wonder, did he actually know, but he was like walking it back. He's like, do you know what? Mm, not touching it. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. 
I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be needing you immediately, so don't get. Oh, they got little saddles too. Look. Oh, I guess they're for like our party members whenever they need chocobos, because I don't think we ever have more than two at a time. <gasps> yes, level twenty-six. Nice. <laughs> Brocious tack. Oh. Clive's childhood chocobo. Member. I wonder how long chocobos live for then. Chocobo unlocked. Fuck yeah. Use. All right. Yeah, after 18, 18 long years, Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful steed, as if as if she's she'd remember him. And she does. Hello, baby. Oh, you're so tall. How do you even let it get up on a chocobo? Like, how do you even mount the things? Jill, you get one too. Oh my god, they're huge, really. When you see the characters like mounted, they like chocobos. They have to be absolutely massive. Right. Where are we headed? Oh, we're just heading back to the thingy, are we? Yeah, we are. Okay. Well, I think that's probably a good place to leave it, you know, for now. We've been playing just over an hour, but, you know. Run like the wind. We, um, we're obviously going to pick this back up. But, wee <laughs> little wings. Um, once I'm back. Uh, and we're going to stream once again, of course. I don't want a big horn. Um, so yes, I hope you'll join it again for more Final Fantasy 16. Um, because we're, we're, we're in it for the long haul, it looks like. Um, which I am obviously more than happy about. And now that we've got a chocobo, we're gonna be covering all that distance in no time. Isn't that right, Ambrosia? So, let me just get out of this battle. Let me run, run back here. Let's go here and fast travel and make sure that I do a hard save, Not no mistakes. Like, the one that happened last time. And yeah, uh, if you're enjoying, please do drop a comment, uh, drop a drop a like, drop a, a subscribe if you feel like it. Um, and yeah, let us know how you're finding the game. There's a lovely Gav. Um, I'll save it here. And uh, yeah, I hope you're all having a wonderful, a wonderful day. Uh, no matter what day this goes on, I'm not really sure which one yet. <laughs> but I will see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye!